Sunday. It's Sunday and we're together, not on our normal day. It's bonus video day. Oh man, I'm so excited. Uh, for those of you that are new, my name is Orly Shani and this is the DIY designer. I do DIY fashion. Every Friday I release a video and sometimes on Sundays. Now, the main reason I decided to do this bonus video today is actually for two reasons. Numero uno, next Friday when I would normally be releasing my video is Christmas day does not sound like a good day to release a video. I don't think you'll be on the YouTubes. And now I will not be on the YouTubes. Other reason is that this is something that you're gonna wanna wear for the holidays, whether it's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, for sure. And by doing it today, this actually gives you guys enough time to go ahead and make it. So today we are making five minute, no sew, tinsel fringe skirts. I'm obsessed, you guys. They are such high impact. I think it's really important that we get dressed up for the holidays this year. I know we're not maybe going to like some big old fancy schmancy party, but I think with our small group of people in our own houses, whatever we're doing, we should like go for it. Do the makeup, do the hair, make the fancy cocktail and the fancy drink and have the beautiful music on and wear the heels and like zhuzh around and make it special and fabulous and gorgeous. I'm really excited. Okay, I also made a pair of pants. Um, I'm gonna add those into the very end. You're gonna need a skirt to start with. Make sure that that skirt is non-stretch. You want like a tight fitted, you know, like really tight, tight skirt, but it needs to be something with a zipper. Otherwise, when you add your trim to it, you won't be able to get it on because the trim itself is not stretch. I got this trim downtown. They had it multiple colors by the yard, just the trim. If you can find that, of course do that. If you cannot, uh, Joann's currently has this as fabric. So basically like on one yard of fabric, there's like, I don't know, maybe like six rows of the trim that's already sewn onto the fabric. If that's all that you can find, what I really recommend doing is cut off each of the pieces off of the fabric so you end up with individual pieces of trim. First of all, it's gonna happen a lot faster. You'll be able to make it really fast, but also it gives you more customization in how you space it out so that you can kind of put each one wherever you want it. I'm gonna get right into the material shot and get started. If you guys are brand new, I hope you'll subscribe if you like what you see. All right, guys. Let's do it. All right, so here is my trim and my skirt. Now it's not until I was actually recording this right now that I realized I think the store may have just actually cut the original fabric into strips and created trim. I think that's what this mesh is for. But either way, you don't want it. So you can either yank on it like this, and it's it's held together pretty loosely, so you'll be able to yank it and remove it. But if it is giving you a hard time, just grab some scissors and cut it off that way. Now, this is a skirt that I found at the thrift store, and the point on it wasn't really working, so it's going to be hidden anyway, so I just kind of cut it clean. Now, you have to decide where you want your bottom row first. You always start at the bottom. So what I did is I tried on my skirt, and I held up my fringe trim. Once I realized where I wanted it, I put a pin so that now I know where to create my line. So you can see that's exactly where I want the bottom row to line up. Now I'm just gonna grab a ruler, line it up to the pin that I marked, and with a little bit of chalk, just draw a straight line. You can draw kind of a sloping line if your skirt has a lot more of a rounded shape, totally up to you. I double checked that my right and my left were even, and now I'm kind of like wrapping them around the side and eyeballing it, just connecting those two lines together. Of course, you can use your ruler there as well. Now, the zipper right here, that's sort of on like my left hip, it is the functional zipper that actually lets me into the skirt. So I need to make sure to start there as my beginning so that I'm actually leaving the zipper accessible so I can get into it. Now, if you're only doing one layer of tinsel, I recommend doing this when you start. You just fold over the beginning of it just a little bit and add your fabric glue so that it's a nice, clean, finished edge right next to that zipper. Lay a nice, thin line of glue, drop your trim on, and I always recommend sort of stretching your skirt a little bit to make sure that the trim is laying flat and it's not kind of bunched up. So you'll see like right there, I kind of like tug on it to make sure that it's nice and straight, that I'm not constricting it in any way. Now I work my way back around the front and I'm gonna end where I started. Again, making sure to leave that zipper fully accessible. So I'm gonna cut it about a quarter of an inch long so I can do that little fold over and then lay it down right along the edge of the skirt. Again, tap down, make sure everything's nice and flat, and give it a little tug. 
Now, I have to figure out where the next one's gonna go. I know that my top one is gonna go at the top, and I know my bottom one is already in place. So I split the difference between the two for my you know, second layer. And this is what's giving you that customization and figuring out exactly how many rows you want. Of course, you could do more if you wanted, but to me, this was a really nice natural space out. So I did the same thing with my chalk. And I'm going right over these pockets because they're not functional anyway. They unzip, but there's no pocket there. So there's no need to make them accessible. So I'm going right over them. Again, really nice thin line of glue. You don't need a lot for this, just a nice thin line. Drop the trim right onto it. Again, I'm going right over that pocket because it's not functional. And when I get to the end, I'm doing that little fold over. And you can see the difference it makes when you sort of tug on your skirt to ensure that you're nice and flat. Now for the very top row, this is where you want to take a lot more time because this is what you're going to see the most of. Nothing is going to go on top of this. So you want to go right up to the edge, not only on the top, but at your zipper, your like zipper as well. So I'm going on the top, I'm sliding it up, making sure that it's fully flush with the waistband on the top. So I'm not seeing any black. And then once I get over to that zipper, I want to get it in there as tight as I possibly can. So I could be done now if I was a normal, sane person. If you are not a perfectionist like me and you're actually a sane person, just skip over this and don't even watch it. But I get a little cray cray when I do my DIYs. I want them to be just perfect. Um, and so what I decided is I tried on my skirt. I felt like it needed one more row on the top. The other thing, that tinsel that I had, it wasn't really crisp. It wasn't laying really shiny and flat. It was like a little and that really bothered me. I felt like it made me look bigger. It made me look like I had kinks in my skirt or something when really it was just kinks in the tinsel. So what I did, which is gonna sound crazy, but I flat ironed it, okay? Listen, I am not claiming to be a sane person, okay? So basically, if you wanna do this, you're going to uh, grab a flat iron and put it on low heat. You could also use a regular iron, although I think you get a better result with the double-sidedness of a flat iron. My flat iron goes up to 450 or something like that and it starts at 190 and that's what I used, my starting point. Before you do this on your actual skirt, grab an extra little piece and test it out to make sure it's not too hot because if it is too hot, it's gonna curl. So you'll know it's too hot. All right, so I already did the extra piece that's gonna go on top, but I wanted to make sure that the top part of my waist was fully flat as well, so that when the two pieces laid on top of each other, it was really nice and sleek and straight. And you can see the difference it made. All those kinks are gone. It really does make a huge difference in making it look really like shiny and sparkly and crisp. Now, for this double layer, I really also wanted to get a little closer to that zipper. I felt like it was open a little. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of going like around the edge and buying myself just like the tiniest little space going in a little further than I did the first time. Now, when you're doing glue, on a second piece of trim, make sure that you put the glue on the top of the trim, not the middle, because that's really where you want it to be fully secured is all the way around the top. Hold everything into place, give it some time to dry. Then I like to clean it up. So there's a couple of random pieces on the top and on the bottom. Trim it up so everything looks nice and neat and you're done. Now, if you guys wanna go ahead and make some pants, this is what I did. I found these at the thrift store and the pins on the left are where I wanted to hem it. I just pinned the, you know, the right and left pant leg together. So that's the pins on the right. But I'm cutting it with seam allowance because I'm assuming I'm gonna do a fold and a fold to have a nice neat hem. But then all of a sudden I was thinking and I'm like, okay, wait, once I hem it, then I'm gonna need to sew the trim on it. I should try to sew the trim on it first and then hem it all at once. So you actually have to attach the trim backwards, which means on the right side of your fabric, facing up towards your waist, right? Exactly the opposite of what you're gonna want. Cause once you fold it, it'll end up on the inside of your pants facing down towards your ankle. So right now I'm pinning everything together. Take your trim, pin it all the way around. And again, this is why you want non-stretch pants, or if they're stretch, just make sure they're wide leg enough that you don't need to stretch them in order to get them on. Now, I did a zigzag stitch to attach the trim, and I had planned on sewing the hem, but you can see that the stitch actually pulls the tinsel through, and you can see it on the wrong side of the fabric. So instead, I'm actually gonna use fabric glue. 
I'm lining up about two and a half inches so I know where my fold is gonna be. And now by putting chalk, I can eyeball it. So now all I'm doing is folding over my trim and lining it up right on that chalk edge that I created. So one side is done, flip it over. Again, right on your chalk line, you're just gonna put a little line of glue and push it down and kind of hold everything into place just like that, making sure that it's nice and taut. Now, you're gonna flip it inside out, and this is actually a mistake that I made, or I think that I made. Look at, they're like perfect, right? They're perfectly crisp, the fringe is coming out from the bottom, everything looks great. I thought I needed to iron it to make it really crisp. Not a good move. Something about ironing it made the fabric glue sort of like, almost like harden and connect to the other side in a way that's visible. So you'll see at the very end when I model them, you can actually see where the fabric glue is, which I don't like. After that, just trim them up and you're done. All right, you guys, that's it. We're done. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear those, man. They are just so happy. I'm gonna model them for you like a freak in my front yard, talking to my neighbors. It's always a little weird. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope that you did subscribe and join me uh, next, not this Friday, but next Friday for another great DIY. And I hope everybody has a beautiful holiday with their family, with their friends, with themselves, whatever you're doing. I hope you enjoy it and get dressed up and celebrate uh, because 2021 is coming, baby. We're gonna leave all this crap behind us. All right, guys, I love you. Have a beautiful holiday.